Hi everyone, uh, my name is Otis. You're welcome to uh, Online Business Opportunity Marketing Network, the ultimate path to getting online. So uh, in today's video, I'm gonna share with you how to uh, buy or register your domain name. Your domain name is the real estate of your business. And that's how people can find you online if they're looking for you. It work in a similar way, like the satellite navigation need a physical address to provide direction. So also your web browser need your domain name to refer traffic or direct people to your virtual office or your virtual store. So uh, whether you are an existing business or you're contemplating starting a new business, uh, the first part of call is just for you to buy your domain name, which is similar to you registering your business uh, your business and multi business. So, for you to get a space on the internet, it starts with your domain name. So, I'm going to walk you through how to buy this domain name. Uh, before we get started, ensure that you have uh, at least two to three or five uh, names around your business handy because the chances that your domain name may have been taken um, is, 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 is very, very high. So, that's why I always advise that. If you are starting a new business, so the first thing to do is to buy your domain name and it ranges between $10 to uh, $17 per year. So it's paid every year, the subscription fee. So for you to have that name. So I'm just going to, I use domaincode.com. So I'm going to walk you through right now how to get a domain name. So I'm assuming that I already have uh, kind of domain names. So I go on this website and I'm gonna move it a little bit. So you see this space down here, I just click on it. So it said, enter your domain name. So I'm gonna try different names and see how, if it is available, because that's the first thing you have to search for that domain name before you go ahead to purchase the domain name. So I'm gonna do this, um, Africutus, um, Okay, so I'm gonna see if this domain is available because I love this. I, lo I love teaching. So, okay, so let's go. Um, so what I've done, I've inserted the name, then click search. So, okay, so uh, a message is displayed here and it said that domain is already is registered here. So that means someone else has actually gotten the domain name. So I'm gonna cancel and go back and try to use a different name also. So, and I'm going here, you see the other uh, point here, this button here, it said enter your domain name. So I'm going to actually get another fictitious domain name, um, which is called, let me see, uh, made it, made it, made it, made it, made it, made it keg. So don't mind me, I'm just, uh, I just decide to go with this name. So I'm gonna click search here to see if the domain is available. So if it's available, I can actually buy the domain name uh, to, for me to set up my uh, online store or online business or even to consulting or whatever service that you're offering to the people. So I click that. So it's searching if the domain is searching on the web to see if the domain is available. So, and as soon as it display the message that the domain is available, yeah, it said, okay, the domain is available. So the next thing that you're going to do, there's a top, on the top right uh, corner, uh, you will see continue to cut. So I'm going to click that continue to cut because I'm ready to check out because the domain is available now. So I can go ahead and buy this domain name. So, and it's also displays some available domain if you're interested in it. Uh, but for now, I'm not interested in it. So I'm going to go ahead to check out. So I'm continuing to check out. Um, it is spinning. So I'm waiting for it. So it's spinning. Okay. So they're going to sell you, cross sell you some different things if you want to add privacy. Um, for now, I'm not going to add the privacy, but privacy is important because it kind of uh, hide your information from on the web. So um, because uh, it is uh, um, the, the, the law of disclosure. So if you own a domain name, uh, the, the domain registrars want to know who is behind the name. But at the same time, you want to hide that information from the general public so you can add your privacy and the privacy protection is about $1.95. So um, I can try to add it, but okay, I can go ahead. 
and continue to cut so that is added you have the ultimate protection security also but i'm not adding that until i start building my website so um we're almost coming to the end of uh, this buying this domain name so it's going to ask for basic information because if you are if, if this is your first time and you don't have an account so you want to create an account here so it's ask you to create an account where you give a basic information like your email address your username and the password so that's what you you will be using going forward to log into the back office to see the product that you bought from this website which is ranging from your domain name and every other thing that is going to power your web uh this is the this information is how you're going to assess uh, th those uh, those products so uh, this is just akin like just getting a plot of land and you have the road to your land and you have the key uh, fence, the, 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 your, your plot of land, you, pl you, you, you fence it around. So this, your information, this log information is what gives you access to your land. So once you get that, the next part of call is building. So you begin to bring in blocks, you begin to build in different materials that you want to use to build in. So uh, to build your house or home. So anytime that you want to access that, that's what the information you're going to use. That's what it's requesting here. Because I already have an account, I'm not going forward to actually add those information, but I'm going to go forward here. Um, here, the domain name is telling you that's $33 for two years, but I'm going to for, I can do one here um let's see so it changes it to sixteen dollars 99 cent but at the same time also uh for all my domains i go between five and ten years so i don't have to worry about uh, renewing in the next 10 years and that gives me and it's also important for your seo purpose because it sees your business as a going concern as as a uh, 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 perpetual continuity so uh having done that so you select the number of days if you don't want to buy the number of years you want to buy for one year so every year you have to renew it so and again once i've done that so i added the privacy so everything is 19 dollars. and if i've created that account so i'm going here to check out so it's going to tell me to check out okay let's try and create an account um i have an email i have uh, uh let me use this email that uh, i use for for junk uh junk big uh six nine one please com. so i'm trying to create an account so once you create an account it's going to send you and okay so that's my username i'm going to use this just as my username so you can actually use this username but it's going to send you and it's going to send you a number that you, your customer number that you'll be using as your username going forward so here well i'm just going to create uh, uh let me just do i'm just creating uh, my login password and uh, just so that I met, I met the criteria. Yes, you said I met the criteria. So I'm going to create that account now. So it's going to ask me to create this account. It's just as simple as that. There's no hard and fast rule about how you can buy your domain name. It's simple, so you don't need legal papers. So I'm going to click create an account. So it's going to create an account and it's going to send me other information to the email address that I have provided. So every going forward, every communication will be sent to you that email that I've provided including the renewal notice that will be sent to that email. So now uh, it's going to ask for my uh, credit card information. So this is about ready to check out. So once I provide all the uh, information, my credit information, my name that's on the card, then this uh, save now will be highlighted. You have the option to save now or not to save. If you don't want to save, you just go ahead and just check out. So, um, so we're coming to the end of this presentation. So uh, going for, I think you can be able to take it out from there. So I just want to say thank you for listening to this presentation. I look forward to see you in our next presentation. If you have a question, don't forget to shoot us an email and we'll respond to you as soon as possible. And don't also forget to like us on Facebook, on Twitter, uh, LinkedIn, and also subscribe to our channel on, uh, on YouTube. So I look forward to see you again. Thank you.